Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another League of Legends video, and I wanted to share a little bit of a thought that I had. Um, so I've been playing on the uh, preseason 3.14 patch and uh, kind of getting acclimated to things. And one of the things that I've kind of noticed or discovered or kind of seen as a rising trend is that it seems like uh, the tanks are kind of making a bit of a resurgence. And part of it, I believe, is coming from a mastery. So um, this is a mastery page I've been using on Dr. Mundo, but you could easily use a very similar page on somebody like... Um, I mean, pretty much any tank that you want to go full raid boss um, and just be a, an unkillable monster. So I've also been using this on like Cho'Gath or Shen or Nasus, uh, maybe even like Renekton, any champion that you want to be like a total beast in. And so a couple of thoughts here um, is that, <clears throat> so this is, I think I have, so if I was going to do like a, a 921 page, I would do this. Um, it's just very standard. You could do that. Maybe put a couple points in here. So that'd be like a pretty standard 921 page. You could also, if, if you know, depending on the team comp, if you're not so worried about the AD carry, you could go to, you know, these resistance masteries for the AOE. If you don't have any self-healing, you could put more points in Tenacious. You know, it, it, a lot of this is kind of situational. But I feel like 921, you're not really maximizing your points. And, like, specifically these points in here. Um, so you're putting five points into, and you're getting, um, wow, this is AP. I actually would probably want to do this for an AD page like this. So you're getting like 5 AD at level 1, and you're getting AD per level, and you're getting a little bit of sustain from Butcher. Like, these aren't bad masteries. However, I... They don't... 9 points in offense doesn't go as far as it did in Season 3. In Season 3, you could get, you know, the specifically the armor pen. And trading, you know, a, what was it, 8% armor pen or something for 5 attack damage, that's definitely weaker. And especially if you're going to only put nine points into a tree, uh, it's it's definitely not going to go as far. So instead of doing this, I've been focusing, like I said, more on you know getting really really tanky, and just like look at like these these masteries down here in this section are so good. Like reducing your damage from crits is really great because you know they're going to have an AD carry. You're going to be a tank, and you want to be uh, you know really shutting down that AD carry. Really important mastery point right there. Also, this uh, reducing the damage taken by 4% from AoE magic damage. AoE magic damage is all over the place. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, AP casters have AoE magic damage that you're going to be taking when you're in the middle of a team fight. So, again, you know, th these two points right here are effectively aiming at reducing the effectiveness of the two soul link or uh, the two carries coming out of mid and bot lane if you are like a top or a jungle uh, tank. You know, these two masteries are going to try to help shut down their carries. And then, you know, these four points in these masteries give you so much sustain. You know, like I said, on Dr. Mundo or Cho'Gath, I felt like I had almost unlimited sustain. Uh, Shen, Renekton, any of these high tanky champions with high sustain, it really allowed me to uh, just be very, very high in terms of regen and you know you all you get items like Doran Shield and Spirit Visage. You know, like Doran Shield, Spirit Visage and these four mastery points give you so much sustain and regen. It allows you to stay stay in lane forever and just be very difficult to kill. Then these four points specifically are really, really good in team fights. So um if you're getting four armor per champion, five enemy champions, that's twenty armor. Uh so that's like a free cloth armor and a little bit more I think. Um, is that right? I don't actually know. Let's, eh, not worth looking into, but nonetheless, like, getting free armor and magic resist for enemy, enemy champions is really good. Again, scaling you into late game, and then obviously the reduced crowd control is really nice. Like, I was doing uh, some calculations on Dr. Mundo, and if you take this, this right here, you get 15%. If you take, uh, Merc Treads, I think that's another 35%, so that gets you up to, like, what is that, uh, is that 50%? And then whatever his W gives, which would be like another like 10 to 20%. So you're getting like 60-ish percent crowd control reduction on Dr. Mundo, which is pretty absurd. I think I had a game where like Tarek stunned me, and it was like, it was almost as if I had gotten chomped by Trundle. Like, it, like that's what the stun felt like. It was like a 60 or 70% reduction uh, above the stun. It was just absurd. So anyways, um, so anyways... <clears throat> I just kind of want to put this video out there, like make you guys aware of how strong this the the lower part of this defense tree is, specifically on okay, like you need to be somebody who's really really tanky, and somebody who um who has a ton of like sustain and regen, 
and and somebody who wants to go full raid boss and just be like right in the middle of the enemy team and uh, shutting down their carries. And this this ma- this mastery setup really I think has has given some more viability to those champions. You know, moving shifting from bruisers to to more tanks. You know, I think towards the end of season three, things like assassins or whatever. You know, those were all the rage. I I predict that tanks will become pretty strong and pretty powerful. You know, specifically because. Uh, you know, you can you can start playing tanks now in the bot lane. Like I've had some success playing Jarvan in the bot lane and just going straight tank. You get like the face of the mountain and a sunfire cape and maybe even a spirit visage or a frozen heart, something like that. Like the, you just become really really tanky out of the support role. So you know, if you guys are playing solo queue and you're playing top lane or jungle or or bot as a support and you want to really help your team out, I would really recommend you know taking these masteries, going for one of those raid boss tanks, and just going super ham. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below if you've guys tried a mastery page like this. Um, and it even you could even go like full truck mode and like put you could even do something like this. Like a full 30 points in defense isn't a horrible idea. Like the defensive tree, I just in my mind is very strong right now. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and I'll see you again soon. Bye.